Well, boomer, sooner everybody. My name's Harry James. It's that time again. It's the battle for territories. It's OU, OSU, it's Oklahoma, it's Oklahoma State, it's Bedlam. And this is the preview, which brings us to our Bedlam Sooner Stumper. Uh, what is Mike Gundy's record as quarterback and head coach in Stillwater? Between OU and OSU in the Bedlam series, here's a hint for you guys. He was the quarterback for the Aggies from 86 to 89, and he was the head coach of Oklahoma State from 2005 to present. So that's your hint. All right, we'll preview Bedlam next, Boomer Sooner 1982. Don't not go away, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, everybody. My name's Harry James. Let's get you started with the Sooner Stumpers. Mike, what is Mike Gundry's overall record in Bedlam as quarterback and head coach for Oklahoma State in the OU-OSU rivalry? Well, it's 0 for 4 as a player. And as a coach, 2 for, uh, two for 12. That's 2 and 16 overall in this series for the former quarterback and current head coach at Oklahoma State. Game day festivities. Now, these are no longer uh, applied here. The center is playing their final home game. But uh, they, uh, WWLS, the sports animal, they hang out in front of O'Connell's before the game home games. Uh, the Balfour Norman welcomes in Sports Top 1400. That's Toby Rowland, Mer uh, Chris Plank, Teddy Lehman, those guys. Uh, the franchise, 1077, they are actually at the Sooner Fan Fest uh, booth. They're at the uh, Palace, tailgate at the Palace, I believe is what they're calling it this year. Tons of excitement right there, right where McCas right at the entrance to McCaslin Fieldhouse. You cannot miss it. And then once they are off the air, uh, the Sooner Fan Fest takes over as part of the Sooner Radio, sorry, the Sooner Radio crew takes over. From Sooner Fan Fest. Uh, Lewis Field. Uh, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma. That's the series this week. Saturday, November 30th, 2019. On National Fox at 7 o'clock. TV, TV broadcast not quite ready to announce that yet. You do know the play-by-play -play uh, is going to be, though, at least for the Sooner Radio Network. It's going to be... Uh, Sports Top 1400 hosts uh, OU football, men's basketball, and baseball play-by-play uh, -play man T Toby Rowland. Also from Sports Top 1400, uh, Teddy Lehman helps him do color, along with uh, special correspondent uh, Merv Johnson, the coach, Merv Johnson, and sideline analysts uh, Chris Plank from Sports Top 1400. And Gabe Eichard and his witty tidbits. You can listen to him and his witty tidbits in 107.7 The Franchise or 107.9 in Tulsa. Series in the series history in this series, 88, 18, and 7. That's 81% winning percentage for the Sooners in 113 games. Last time Oklahoma State won this series... Back in 2014, they won it in Norman by a field goal, 38 to 35. Uh, last time Oklahoma won this series was by one PAT last season, 2018. That was a 48-47 final in front of a raucous crowd in Norman. 
The Sooners head coach, Lincoln Riley, in his third year in charge of the Crimson and Cream. Uh, Lincoln is a former quarterback for Texas Tech, did that one in 2002, and was then a student assistant from 03 to 05. In three seasons, Lincoln Riley has a 34 and 5 record in 39 games in Norman. That is a 87% winning clip, but he's 0 for 2 in bowl games, but they're both college football playoff bowl games. Last year, with a record of 12 and 2, 8 and 1 in league, got invited to the Big 12 Conference Championship game, where they avenged their one regular season loss to Texas, 39-30. 39 to 27 in Arlington to raise the Big 12 banner. But they did then keep their bowl record at 0 0 by falling to Alabama in the Orange Bowl 45 to 34 in 2018. Division titles for the Sooners that's eight. Total division titles, 2000, 02, 03, 04, 06, 07, 08, and 2010. They then qualified as the top two teams because once the Big 12 was separated, they didn't have a championship game for a while. They then decided to take the top two teams. Oklahoma has been one of the top two teams the last three years. That is 17, 18, and is now 29. This season. But you know what? Nobody cares that we held off TCU last week to get to uh, this next week in the Big 12 Championship versus Baylor. They don't care about that. They care about the rings that you get if you win that game. And Oklahoma's got 12 of those 2000, 02, 04, 06, 07, 08, 2010, 12, 15, 16, 17, and 18. For 2019, to get there this year, they will have to do it this way, and they've done it this way, winning a lot of games. 10-1, 7-1 in league play inside the Big 12 Conference. Let's go back and review how they got here. It started against Houston Week 1, 49-31, over a victory over Houston. They then played South Dakota, 40-14, got them there. Then they played UCLA at UCLA at the Rose Bowl, 48-14 uh, final there. Came home to play Texas Tech, 55-16 there. Got the win on there. Won at Kansas, 45-20. They then beat rival Texas in Dallas, 34-27. They then took care of West Virginia on homecoming, 52-14. They lost at Kansas State, 48-41. They then held off Iowa State. 42 to 41. They held off, they came back and took down Baylor in Waco, 34 to 31, and then they just held off TCU 28 to 24. Offensive production for the Sooners this season. Uh scoring yard, scoring sco points scored per ball game 45.3 PPG points per game that is fifth best in the country. Yards per game, Lincoln, you're going to have you, you can't get any better than this, baby. They've been here all year. First best in the country at 574.73 yards per game. Defensively, they are getting better. In fact, they're giving up 25.5 points per ball game. That's 99th best in the country. And 337.0 points per ball game, uh, yards per ball game. That is 54th. Before we talk about Oklahoma State, probably the reason why it's 99th and 25.5 points per ball game, uh, yards per game, you guys got to understand, this is the Big 12 Conference. They love to score points and points and points and points and points. And when you're the big dog, you come barking at the big dog, it had to ha and it's happened once this year. You're gonna get bit, so you got to come in game ready, game on, and they will. And that's probably why they give up so many points. It's because everybody wants to take down the big dog. All right, that'll do it for that one. I'm off my soapbox now. So now we'll preview Oklahoma State and the Cowboys. Mike Gundy, his 14th season in charge of the Orange and Black. 
1989 grad from Okie State. In 190 games, uh, the Mike Gundy under the Mike Gundy era, Mike Gundy is 129 and 62. That's a 68 percent winning clip, and nine and four in bowl games. That's a 62 percent winning clip in 13 games. Actually, technically, the winning percentage overall is 68 percent in 190 games. Sorry. NCAA football total record, Mike Gundy, only one job, 2018. Uh, 2005-2-2 to, to, to present, 2018 record, there we go, 7-6, 3-6 in Big 12 play. Tied for ninth uh, in the conference with Baylor. Uh, got to a bowl, though, took down... Uh, Missouri in the Liberty, 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 Liberty Bowl, 38 to 33 last season. Did the Oklahoma State Aggies? The Aggies uh, division titles not applicable here, but they do have a conference title of uh, 2011 and 2019. Uh, this season, 2019, eight and three, five and three in Big 12 play. They took down. Oregon State, the other orange and black, the Beavers, took them down 52-36 to in Corvallis before coming home to Stillwater and taking down McNeese State 56-14. And then traveled up the turnpike to Tulsa and got them there, got Tulsa 40-21. to They then lost to our rival, our other rival in Texas, lost that one 36-30 to in Austin. Came back home to take care of business against Kansas State. 26 to 13, then lost in Lubbock, 45 to 35. Traveled back home, took care, uh, lost to Baylor, 45 to 27, and then got back on the right track with three consecutive wins over Iowa State in Ames, 34 to 27. Beat, then beat TCU, 34 to 27, or yeah, 34 to 27. Then beat rival, uh, then then they beat. Their old buddy Les Miles in Kansas, 31 to 13, and then they just now took care of business in Morgantown, 23 to 13. 2019 stats look like this: 38.4 points per ball game scored. That's 22nd best in the country. Yards per ball game is at 14th in the country with 500.2 yards per ball game. The defense. Giving up 32.5 points per ball game. That is 182nd in the nation. And defensively giving up 452.5. That is 210th in the country. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry James. You can catch this and all my other videos on my Facebook account, Boomer Sooner 1982. Also, Facebook, Harry James Taylor, or on Twitter, at HypeManHarry. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy this final big-time weekend of college football coming up this week, guys. Enjoy. Peace, love, and to all the OU fans out there, boomer sooner. I'm out of here. Peace.